Ian here, Half Cut Garage. Welcome back. I hope you've enjoyed the previous two parts. If you haven't caught the first two parts yet to get some context, know where we're at and what we're doing, go back, watch part one, part two. Link will be down below somewhere up here. I don't know, part one, part two first. Anyhow, let's get going. Here's the recap of the last part and the preview of the next part and then we're gonna get right into getting that boat back in the water. We did find it. Jeez, I don't know. We're gonna work at it. I won't have enough battery to take all the cameras, so I'll try to get you some video in the mounts and see if we can get it to move. In the water. A little context. When we arrived, they had got a little bit of rain up there at some point in time. That and the water pushing up against the back of the boat had managed to fill the bow. So when we opened up the bow section, and first started doing inventory of what it was, there was itchy band noodle wrappers and beer cans and stuff floating all around inside the bottom of that boat. We did a bunch of bailing, we did a bunch of inventory and we had to gather stuff up because I, I like, it was a mess. Them guys had been in a wreck and it was obvious. We also took note that the back of the boat was cracked open, that apparently the toolbox they had one of them fancy Mastercraft toolboxes. It had smashed all the fittings off of the top of the oil jugs. So the only oil jug that was left was the small little tiny one on the side of the motor that only took about 50 milliliters at a time. And we knew when we headed up there, there's a high probability that there was no keys. When they got taken out, for some reason, everybody's natural instinct is to grab the keys not like anybody was gonna go up there and steal it. Anyhow, so we had to hotwire the boat. I actually just took the tumbler apart so we could use a screwdriver. No big deal. Her stuff was tossed everywhere. More like more than likely it had been airborne, but stuff was laying everywhere. So we had to clean out the itchy band that was getting into the bilge pump. The bilge pump was actually falling apart. It was broken in half, so we had to sort of strap it down. We wound up weighting it down with rocks in order to keep it bilging. A couple of rocks around it so that a rock would sit on top of it and hold the three pieces together. That kind of rodeo, let me tell you. So we get the boat cleaned out. Um, the capstan winch had the skid plate knocked off the bottom of it, and you all know that have a capstan winch, the skid plate holds a fuel tank on, so the fuel tank's flopping around like a limp you-know-what. Um, the little thing that holds the cable to spool onto the side, well, that thing was straight right out and bent underneath down, and we couldn't get it straight. Stainless steel, once it's hardened, it, it, good luck, you're just gonna break it. So we kept running over the rope a couple of times. That was another issue we had. The chainsaw itself was dull as all can be. Luckily, we found a rusty file in amongst all the fishing hooks scattered around the glove boxes. So, sharpen the chainsaw, bungee the capstan winch together, bilged, bailed. That's where we wound up. Also, we tried pulling downwards at first, and I know it's a hard thing to do with the river anchor. That was the little one where you see in the snap footage didn't work so well. What? Thankfully, Dale's crab pot line, we're gonna talk more about that in a little bit here, but there was enough of it 
that I took a bunch of wraps with me, hopped in the boat, and drove across the creek there, tied the boat off, and it doesn't look like it's very high up, but I actually climbed a long ways up there until I found a big enough tree that I thought we could pull off and just hope that it didn't cut open on them rocks. Plan B. We got that rope run. The biggest tree I could find. Hopefully she don't cut on that shale. We were way up there. Hopefully she's gonna go downhill here. You know it's getting serious when it's never driven that boat we had boulders on the way up holy smokes it was there we got her we got her we're going down not a catholic man but wish us luck bilge pump is full of shit. keep slowing down trying to get her bailed out boat's too heavy won't get on step get her so now that we think we got the leak under control, the bilge pump is super iffy. Won't matter if we can get that boat on step though. Let's get to going down the river.
So I don't know if I got that old uh, spinny spinny there on the rocks on camera. Hope you're enjoying it so far. What a ride down it's gonna be, let me tell you. Little context to what's going on. Dale is a crabber. He's from out on the coast. That rope that you see was the rope that was in his boat, the capstan winch that was in his boat, the chainsaw that was in his boat. That's what allowed us to go up there so light. This rope is awesome. It doesn't foul easy, it doesn't knot up easy in the water, it somewhat floats. Only downside is, when it spins on that capstan winch, it melts. And if you burn on it too hard, it melts through. There's a couple of the splices in it, the whole nine yards. So you see that little section up there where I'm pointing, every time we broke that rope, I had to walk up and over and around and back down with the rope to that rock, tie the knot back in it, whatever, walk all the way back around to help push pull that boat. In total, I think I made about five or six trips through that water, which brings up a second point. Some people give me flack over wearing hip waders. Well, I wear hip waders for a reason. I'm packing a knife for a reason. If I do go down, I'll get them hip waders off. I assure you, I will. I'm also wearing a life jacket the whole time while I'm walking back and forth through the river, and I have my helmet on. So if I fall down, I won't hit my head. Anyhow, let's get this old man back into the boat and see if we can't get down the river. Oh, and by the way, if you're liking the series, we need your help. Help share the video, hit that thumbs up, and hit the subscribe button, please. For whatever reason, if I don't get picked up by the algorithm, my videos go nowhere, and all of you are telling me how much you love my videos. So do me a solid, like, share, subscribe, encourage others to do the same. Thanks. Let's go. Wise decision for him, I come down this way. Just to come down through that. I'm down there. So I uh, tied us off to that boulder. We're running across. He's gonna see if he can't uh, suck the bow around. And then I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna come around that rock or not. It might even run out, I guess we'll find out. So you remember that rock over there? We pulled it up against this rock. So then we put it up on the trees, pull it backwards. Now hopefully we'll get it back over and through that in the main channel. This old man's getting a little tired. Can I mention to you guys, I'm 42 years old. It's a young man. two guys crazier than the two guys that brought this boat up here and that's us two guys that are trying to get this boat gone back home I'm gonna try to take that road over there that's where we split off and went up that log jam run into it and had to come back so we're only half as much river right here hopefully he can bash his way through there I gotta try to get back on step now. Oh, 
42. Having a blast. Having a blast. My legs run out of jam. My legs run out of jam. And I'm sorry it gets a little patchy from here, guys. I'm on the last of my batteries. Where? It's not working. Well, there's no trim. That would be the trim. There's no lever for it. I don't see no switch for a trim. Anyhow, if I go down there, here we are again. Maybe you should stick to navigating. <laughs> Oh, you've done awesome, man. Fact, we got it fucking this far so far. We're 600 meters from the Muskwa. Oh? Yeah. Just around the corner? Well, around the corner, around that other bend, and then down that little bit of a hill and across that gravel bar around that last corner. <laughs>
she's back on the Musqua. Holy oh hell. Hope y'all enjoy this video. Woo! What do you think of that, you guys? You figure we're safe now that we're back in the Musqua. Don't kid yourself, I gave you a couple of hints. Shit's about to go sideways on us. I put my boat on the beach because I know I'm leaking at this point in time. We're gonna drag the other one up. Here's a peek at next Sunday's episode. Believe it or not, part four and stuff is gonna go haywire. Stay tuned. Fucking bilge pump quit. One, two, three boats are floating again. V8 boat. A little closer, I'll get you some. Yeah. from here all the way down to here it's over a foot long and right straight through in between the two sheets so 